come to model three in our strategic planning course, the previous models dealt with the introduction to strategic planning and environmental analysis as the foundation session. As the foundation session, this model will now lead us to creating what we call vision, mission, objectives, and goal setting. I repeat, vision, missions, objectives, and goal setting. Since strategy involves that intelligent allocation of limited resources, that is, how do you allocate your resources? We you know resources are limited. So you have to plan a strategy on how you will now what allocate this, your limited resources in order to identify your current position and look at the future, the future, where you want your organization to move into. And for you to do that, you need to embark on what we call strategic planning, strategic planning. From a strategic thinking and standpoint, it is necessary for us now to understand the steps we would take when it comes to embarking on what we call strategic planning. Remember, why must we embark on strategic planning? Number one, resources are scarce. And since resources are scarce, we must allocate them to various areas based on our areas of what priority in other to pick decisions. And this always comes once we must have finished evaluating our external environment by looking at both the external and internal environment, by looking at one, what we intend to achieve, how we intend to achieve it. Let me start by us explaining the vision. Anything you want to start, you must have a word, a vision. The vision tells you clearly what you want to do and how you will do it. Then the mission, the mission now tells of the real purpose for the existence of your organization. At the end of this session, therefore, participants should be able to A, discuss criteria for certain vision statement, B, the decision paths to creating a vision statement. Unit one, develop a vision statement. Develop a vision statement. What do we mean by that? A vision statement communicates the desired, desired, desired long-term position. That is what you desire to achieve in the future. That's why we call it long-term position or achievement of an organization. It plays a crucial role in establishing that collective identity and a shared sense of purpose. Once you have a vision, everybody within the organization will easily know what is the desired future we intend to achieve. A vision statement, therefore, shared the purpose, the purpose for the organization. An effective vision encourages risk taking because the business itself is about risks. And if you don't have the vision, you don't know how to pick the risks, risk taking. And it also what provides a clear answer, a clear answer to the questions. What are the questions? One, what will our success look like? What will our success look like? A well-crafted or well-drafted vision statement possesses the following characteristics. One, 
It is developed through a collaborative process. What do we mean by collaborative? It means you have to involve all the stakeholders so that they will all agree. That's what we mean by consensus. Because it's a vision. Now, and it establishes a future-oriented mental image. Future-oriented mental image. That is, you set up your mind and look right into the future. Set up your mind and look right into the future. Image of the aspiration for the organization. Three, it serves as the foundation, foundation for crafting a mission statement. Remember, it's from the vision now. You will now have your what? Vision, you have your mission statement. A strong vision incorporates the following. One, the inspirational, the inspiration and motives of the organization. Two, forward thinking. It encourages long-term planning because you look now right into the future. And of course, three, it is original and distinctive. It sets the organizations apart from others. What do your organization intend to achieve? Different from what others are doing. Four, competitiveness. It positions the organization to achieve a competitive advantage in the market. Realistic. It is grounded in a practical and achievable manner. A vision statement represents the desired, desired future state or outcome that one aims to achieve. It portrays what we intend to achieve within the environment by enabling us to now have our goals for growth, our, uh, 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 for growth, business development, or any aspect of life. With a clear vision, we can now clearly come out to spell out our mission. Because with a clear goal statement now, all shareholders, stakeholders are involved. We now know what we are trying to do in the future. And it will now assist us to create a path that will lead us and guide us and motivate others to enable us achieve why we have even set up the organization. The vision therefore should be flexible, very flexible, so that it can easily be adapted to the changing environment. Remember we said the environment is what? Dynamic, so you must make your vision equally what? flexible because you are looking right into the future and you know the roadmap to the future will continually change because the environment itself is what changing the vision statement should be easily easily articulated that these people should easily understand what the vision statement is all about so like you see, the vision statement, one, it has to be clear, futuristic, linking up the minds of all the stakeholders into the future and what they intend to achieve in the future. What they intend to achieve in the future. And we say it has to be flexible so that it can easily be adapted to the changing environment. As the environment changes, you will now be reviewing your vision statement. The vision statement, if clearly stated, will naturally lead to what? A mission, mission, which we are going to see in unit two of this model. Thank you.